Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your Sephora sales shopping is going so, so well. I just went myself and picked up a few goodies in store. I also placed an online order. So I figured it would be fun to test out some of this new makeup that I just picked up. I do have some items that are available at Sephora and Ulta, like newer things that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And you can also get 20% off. So the first step I always take is I prime my face. And so I grabbed these two primers during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I think they were half off, but you can get these on Sephora as well. So I have the Illuminate and the Primerize. Okay, so I'm going to use the Primerizer, which I think is their old primer that used to come in the glass bottle. And you guys know I've said a few times on my channel recently how I have very dry skin. And so I've just been relying on a lot of hydrating primers to help plump up my skin for foundation. And then we got the little Sephora bag. I didn't go too crazy, you guys, because a lot of the things I want, I end up buying when they launch. So I'm really glad that there's so many new releases with the Sephora sale because I feel like usually it's like a time for people to stock up. But like for me, with the new releases, I don't usually wait to buy them. So it's nice that they also came out with some new things. So one of the new things is this Rare Beauty foundation. It's actually a tinted moisturizer, which I love. I got the shade 40 in and it says it's a weightless tinted moisturizer that instantly blurs and hydrates skin with light to medium coverage and a natural finish. We've got one fluid ounce. And I really like the description of this. I did put it on my hand just to see the shade. Now, I'm not 100% sure that I nailed the shade. I did look at the description on the Sephora app to try and figure out if I got the right shade. Because with Sephora, you just never know. But I thought this was good. And I like my neutral shades. And so let's see here. I think that works. What do you guys think? And it's got like a little squeezy bottle, super cute. And I can see that it's giving me like a little bit of a glow, but it's not like full coverage. It's definitely, I could definitely see my skin. And it definitely looks very glowy, so that's fun. Okay, so I can definitely see like my imperfections through the skin tint, but that's pretty standard for a skin tint. So not mad about that. I did order two concealers online because they weren't available in my store. I bought the new Dior one and I bought the Rose Ink one. I don't have those with me, so I'm just going to use one of my recommendations that you guys check out during the sale. So I recommended the LYS Triple Fix concealer for you guys. This is a full coverage brightening concealer and I wear the shade TN3. So I'm just gonna pop that on on my under eyes and I'm mentioning the shades I wear because <clears throat> sometimes people that watch me have a similar skin tone to me and I know it's helpful when I mention the shade I have on because then you guys can buy the same shade and because some of these products are only available online. It's nice to know what shade I have on so that you guys can at least, if we have a similar skin tone, you can buy the same shade or at least gauge maybe what the next shade up or down might be for y'all. And I'm just putting that on my under eyes. I really like how it makes my eye bags just a little less intense. <laughs> I can't say they make them go away, but it does make it a little less intense. So I don't have a new bronzer to recommend to you guys, so I'm just going to use this one. This is relatively new to Sephora. It's the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick, and I wear the shade Always Sunny. This is so good. I just love how easy this is to blend. So here's the brush I use for this bronzer, and I just put a little bit on my cheekbones. I don't usually use it on any other part of my face. I just use bronzing powder for that but I'm just blending that in and I did mention these products in my Sephora sale recommendations video so 
If you guys haven't checked that out, highly recommend doing so because I talked about like my 2022 Sephora favorite purchases I've made. So anyway, this was also in that video. This is a Gucci Beauty Bronzer and I wear the shade 4. The shade range of this bronzer was very hard because there are some shades that are actually like higher up in the numbers that are lighter than the shade 4 or the undertones are funky. So if you like a nice warm bronzer, then go for shade number 4. I think this is such a beautiful bronzer. Definitely one of my favorite beauty products from Gucci. Okay, I don't have a blush either, so I'm gonna go into my Glam Face Palette from Natasha Denona, another really good buy for the sale. I bought this during the last sale and I love it so much. I'm using the Dark Palette, and so I just love to like stamp this blush on with the Real Techniques brush that I love for my cream blushes. Okay, so I just love to like stamp the blush on. I just love that for cream because then it doesn't make it like streaky. It's definitely more of a blended effect. And then I want to use the powder blush from Patrick Ta. This is the shade she's blushing. A nice neutral shade. So I'm just gonna pop that on over the cream just to make it even more of a standout shade. So next I wanna do powder and I actually grabbed two. So I had mentioned that I wanted to buy the shade Tan in the Charlotte Tilbury powder, the airbrush powder. I have this in the shade Medium, but I wanted to see what tan would look like. So that's tan. And then I also grabbed a Hourglass powder and this is the ambient lighting powder in the shade Radiant Light and I think I might use this as a highlighter today. I saw somebody use one of these as a highlighter slash like buffing powder and I thought it was so pretty. So it's definitely more of like a subtle look. It's definitely not the like bam kind of highlight I'm used to. So. I'm just going to use this actually to set the rest of my face and I have this like giant powder brush so I'm just going to take that and just apply the powder kind of all over my face. Ooh, I love how it made that look so seamless. And then I'm going to go back into my glam palette and I'm going to take this highlighter because it's stunning. And you guys will see that, like how gorgeous is this highlighter. It's such a bam highlight. So I'm just going to put some highlighter on. And then I just want to use one product on my brows. I just got my brows started, so I'm not going to fill them in. But I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel. This is such a nice product to just kind of get your brows to stay in place. I don't fill my brows in a lot, but I know some of my friends that fill in their brows a little bit more than I do also love this product. So if you're looking for a really good clear brow gel that's gonna keep your brows in place, your brow hairs in place, this is gonna be the one for you. And then I did buy a lippy and oh, I forgot, shoot. I bought another highlighter. It's a liquid highlighter. This is from Rare Beauty as well. I got the shade Flaunt. This is not a new product, but I've been curious about this forever. So it's like a really pretty like golden shade. And I love how this has like a really cute little doe foot in there. So you can just like put a little bit of highlighter on. Shoot, I feel so bad that I forgot to use that. So Missed out on that, but then for lippies, I grabbed this one I've been eyeing forever. So this is the Sephora Collection Lippy in the shade number 77. It's called Primal Instinct, and it's like the prettiest yellow nude I've ever seen. I had to grab this, and Sephora Collection is 30% off, so I figured now is the time. I don't love the packaging of these. They feel a little bit cheaply made but this color i was like so tempted because it's like a ochre mm, this formula 
is so comfortable but i was dying to try out this shade because it's so different but it's such a pretty like yellow color and i thought that was so so cool so that is everything that i purchased from the sephora sale so far i also grabbed the olaplex oil this is the bonding oil i've been dying to try that okay so i want to set my under eyes before i go off camera and do my eyeshadows so i'm gonna use this tan shade now just to see if it works any differently than the medium shade so i was just curious because i wanted to see if it would look different if i set with tan versus medium but here's my medium and this is tan i think they both work just fine i really like this powder for my under eyes and i like that it's a pressed powder too so i can really pack it on under my eyes okay so i'm gonna film my eye look for a separate video i just got the new nomad eyeshadow palette in the mail so i want to get three looks filmed with this palette before it is revealed to you guys that video should be live already so i will link that for you if you're curious about this palette but i will be right back to show you guys the finished look very very soon okay so i was gonna do my hair but i've been digging this long ponytail i've got going on so i just threw on some earrings did my eye look I am wearing the new Nomad Paradise Islands palette. This has already been revealed. I'm pretty sure this is already launched by the time you're seeing my Sephora video. So hopefully you guys got a chance to grab that if you were interested. As far as everything on my face today that I picked up from Sephora, I'm really, really happy with the overall look. This lip color is so different and fun for me. So really, really enjoying that. I feel like it is a really comfortable formula too and they have a ton of colors i also have some other sephora collection lip products that i really love that i've worn in previous videos that you guys have seen on my channel really like this rare beauty skin tint so far i feel like it's doing a good job and i love how dewy it is as well so really really happy with that and yeah i'm very very excited to keep playing with some of the other newer products that i picked up really bummed that i forgot to use this but i will definitely use it in some upcoming videos and keep you guys posted anyways i hope you guys are enjoying the sephora vib sale let me know what you picked up already let me know what you're planning to pick up in case you are waiting for something new to drop i know i definitely have my eye on that new artist couture palette so can't wait to get that it looks so so pretty i hope i'm able to get to the website on time when that launches but yeah hope you guys are enjoying i will leave a sephora affiliate link in my description box if you guys want to shop through my link i will make a small commission i also applied to be on the sephora squad so if you haven't left me a testimonial yet i would really appreciate it if you guys could do that and i will see you in a new video very very soon bye guys